single week, Lady Ada uses the DigiKey site to show you how to find all the things you need. Thank you so much, DigiKey, for helping us make these shows happen. I do this anyways, so now we just have a separate segment. Yeah, so. Okay. So, uh, we've got this um, OBD2 cable. And uh, this is a connects to your car. And then this other side connects to a CAN bus device. And it uses a um, D-sub connector, which I call a DB9. But that's not technically the correct name. The correct name is a DE9. Um, why everyone calls it a DB9, I don't know. Somebody made the mistake once, and it's, it's just in history. So it's common to see them called either DB9 or DE9. And there's like a bazillion little variants of like the, you know, not the connector itself, but like flanged or on a wire or connected to like other wires or like panel mount. Um, but the one I want, so let's go to the overhead real fast, is one just like this. I want one with solder cups so that um, this PCB has the connectors for this um, DE9 on here, and I want the version that hugs it. So this is the solder cup version, but I'll show you some other versions as well. These are not as common, these connectors, right? We are more used to HDMI and USB and Firewire even, you know, like that's as old as it gets. Um, but these old style serial or VGA connectors, you're still going to see them a lot, especially on industrial equipment. Um, there's a lot of old standards that are just, they're never going to die. And they use these extremely durable old connectors. Um, so you're going to have to include them in one of your designs eventually. You might as well know how to find them on DigiKey. So let's go to the computer. Okay. So, um... Again, I call them DE9 or DB9. They're actually DE9, but what you really want to search for is D-sub connector. Um, why are they called D-sub? I think they're considered like sub-miniature. Yeah, these are considered miniature connectors. And I think the D is because they have a little bit of a D shape, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyways, um, what's cool is there's a ton of accessories and components for D-sub. So um, these are pre-assembled cables. So you can get these, again, like with metal, with plastic, with panel mount, with like this like kind of cool, weird, like ribbon cable on the end. Like, at, like you have to fix your old Tektronix printer, you're set. You want rainbow cables? We got them. Pretty much anything you want. The, the, these cables and connectors have been manipulated for any use. Um, they come in odd numbers. I think it's like nine. 15 and 25 are the most common. But then once in a while, there's like, I think Apple maybe had like a 21 pin, which was very rare. Um, so there's like housings. So these are just the raw connectors. You probably don't want these unless you're really good at making cables. I, I personally have never purchased these, but you can just get the raw housing and then make your own custom cables. Um, it's a bit much for me, but it's there. These are kind of cool, these back shells. Um, they snap on and they, they, you can use a rounded cable into your D-sub. Good stuff. But we want the connectors. Okay, so one thing to warn about, there's like hundreds of thousands of these. So you want to really quickly pare them down. Um, the first thing you want to pare down, well, other than just like active, because I always like to pare down active, is the number of positions. Um, so these are the number of pins. And I know this is like a little confusing because there's like 915, 925. Sometimes that means there's like 25 pins, but not all of them are inserted. Um, that's not too uncommon. If you're not sure, just select all of the ones that have the number nine in them. Because like, who cares, right? And then you can start taking a look at the images. And it's like, is this what you want? Because there's also three row and there's two row. This one's kind of nice. I like these. These are like, they have an IDC clamp on the back so you can, um, you can connect a ribbon cable and clamp it down. This is what these, these cables, like if you're doing a small run manufacturing of design, these cables are, you know, they don't mean anything. So you can kind of use them for any purpose. It's not like USB where the four pins have a meeting. Like it's power ground D minus D plus with these. It's like, it's a free for all. There's no like standard, um, connectivity that you need to follow. Okay, so um, next up, I want the termination. Okay, again, it's like 
every kind of termination you could want. There's there's press fit, there's the IDC clamp, there's the wire leads. It's cool, let's look at those. Yeah, these are like, look at this. It's insane. Okay, but uh, what I want is the, the solder cup because that is the particular kind that um, has the, the hugging effect on a PCB. So I'll grab those. Okay, and this really like um, pared it down. And then the question is, do I want the socket or pin type? If you're not sure, again, look at the images. No, I don't want this type. I want this type. This is the type that mates into the cable. And this is called a pin connector, plug. So let's search for plug. Cool. Number of rows, two rows, because we, we, you know, we, we can see the cable. Um, and then, you know, you can just uh, search for, you know, in stock, for example. And then these are all, like, there's going to be slight variations. Some are gold, and some have, like, this nice big plate. And this is just the, the, um, the housing for it. So you're going to see a lot of accessories. These are really gorgeous. These are, like, all-in-one, like, attachment back shells. Um, you can shop forever. But I'm actually just going to sort by price. And I see Amphenol has these in bulk. These look good, free hanging. Um, they're gold plated. They can handle up to three amps, which is awesome. And then you can even check out the, uh, the rotating version. Sometimes you wanna check this just to verify that this is exactly the kind of connector you want. So yeah, this is what I want. Sweet. So this is it, the Amphenol DE09. 064 TXLF. All right, and that's a great search for Digikey this week. All right. Where 